Welcome back, everyone, to Mass Effect Andromeda. It's a, f a new session, and for the first time ever, I have literally, for the first time ever, just remembered that I can head right over here, and I can do the strike team stuff and collect the assets and do all that right away. It's the first time I've ever remembered this. So let's await the debrief. Did I pass it? Mission success! And Yankee is now level 6. There you go. Very nice. What about these beautiful killer bots? Mission failure! A very first mission failure, ladies and gents. Well, that sucks, monkey ass. Let's open up these uh, boxes. Got some credits. A few common materials. Actually, it's just rare kept fusion armor. Okay, that's not exactly what I expected. Some research points. And loot, what do we got? The Matic gun. M96 Matic gun. And the incisor, which I already have. Okay. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Amazing. Alright. Black Mage C-Type just uh, did a 100-bit cheer, and he says, Now that you and Leanna are engaged, will you do more playthroughs together? I loved your Godfather playthrough. Congrats again on your engagement. Um, by the way, that makes him the cheerleader for this evening, because I just started playing. The stream just started. Um, I don't know. Maybe if we could find fun stuff to do co-op in. The problem is there's not a lot anymore. Like, even when you think about last year, we did... Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, and we did um, The Godfather the year before. There's, like, not a lot to do co-op in. The other problem is we both work now, so a lot of the times our schedules don't jive anymore. It's not like it used to be where she was home all day. No, she's at work constantly, so I don't know. We'd have to specifically find something we want to do co-op in, and we would have to, like, schedule it in whatever days that we have together to play it. So more than likely, that would have to be a dead time of the year. It's not out of the question, but... If people have suggestions of stuff you'd like to see us do, you know, let me know. Okay. Let's go out again with more missions. Send out a strike team. They're both an 89 chance, chance for success. I'll send Mike this time. And then this one. Send a strike team. Only a 61%. Damn, this is a tough mission, huh? You know what? Let's do it. Let's send him out. Maybe he'll die in combat. Who knows? Can I recruit someone? I know I need 80 mission funds. I only have 60. I need to earn more mission funds to recruit someone else. Okay. All right. Um. So that's that. Now if I come over here, right, I can collect those free resources. Here we go. Collect all rewards. Boom. So I got some credits. I got some minerals. I got consumables. I got biominerals. I got tech materials. I got credits. I got a lot of shit. Now... Maybe I could take a look at the research center. And I could see, is there anything that I would like to research? Or is there something I could develop that earlier I couldn't develop? Maybe I can do it now? The Pathfinder armor set. Look at this. I have three pieces. The legs, the helmet, and the arms. But not the chest, I guess. That kind of sucks. It's all Pathfinder armor. What? That's all I have? I have no guns I can develop. The Avenger Assault Rifle 4. I wonder how this is compared to my rifle. I don't have enough. Nope. I thought this was supposed to be what was ready to develop. Development. This is all that's ready to develop. The Pathfinder? That's it. That's all I could develop is the Pathfinder shit. Well, that sucks. All right. What can I research? What do I want to research here? Armor. Hyper Guardian? What does this do? It doesn't really explain. It doesn't really explain what you're going to get out of it. Let's see. Oh, here's the levels. That's why. Max health and shields. So this is health and shield boost. This gives you shields and biotic power damage. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Maybe I should develop the N7 armor set because it's saying here that I'm actually going to get uh, not only max shield but biotic boost as well. Right? I think that might be good. Alright, let's do it. Okay.
Okay. So I'm making the whole N7 set. Now, can I go up a level? I still have enough to do level 2, I believe. There we go. Okay. Oops. Fuck. I blew it. I can't even get the legs. You fucking... You son of a bitch. Gorilla? What does this do? Tech power? Yeah, see, I wouldn't want that. I'm not using tech. Tech fusion? Combat and weapon? Nah. Helios? Power damage, weapon damage, damage resistance. Nah. What do we got here? <clears throat> Remnant. Shield, health regeneration, shield regeneration, and damage resistance. That's not bad. Too bad I only have 60. <laughs> I only have 60 remnant points, so I'm not doing that. All right. And it looks like I can develop... I can develop some of these. That's good. I can develop the three pieces that I did. The arms, the chest, and the helmet. Of course, it looks like I can only make two because I only have 27 platinum. So I can only make the arms of the helmet or I could make just the chest. So let's see. Six, five, eight. Three, four. Three, four. It's the same. I'll, I'm, I'm going to do just the chest for now. I need to find platinum now, though. All right, I can put four augmentations in? Holy shit, what do I have? Battlefield assist module. Health and shields are full. You get 20% bonus damage. Oh, no, it's the chest. Excuse me. Well, health is 20% or lower. A 25% resistance to all damage buff. Sure. Many gel regulator. Gives you plus 2% max health. Plus 2% shield regeneration. Tech power damage. I'm not, I don't use tech for damage. Oh, here we go. Now I know what to use. Tech recharge and shield. There you go. All right. Craft it. I crafted it. Craftsmanship. I got a trophy for crafting that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone, uh, uh, someone just brought up a good point. I, I apologize because their name scrolled. Oh, here we go. It's Omega Joker. Omega Joker says definitely check my inventory. I may have much better guns now because I just did Vetra's loyalty mission. And I got a ton of stuff from that. You're right. When I head out here for my loadout, I'll check my loadout. Um, alright, so I did that. Alright, I researched. Is there anything else I want to do? Can I buy anything good? I don't know if it's worth it to buy anything in this game. I have... 4,667 credits. It probably doesn't make sense to buy anything in this game. You could probably just get anything, everything you want, I would think. Alright, you know, I'm not gonna bother. Okay. Someone says you could develop things for the, the, the vehicle, but I can't get them. I don't have any of the resources. Look. Not even close. Not even close. I can't do it. All right. What do I want to do next? Go to the Hacker Sanctuary on Kadara. I might want to do that. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think let's go to the Hacker Sanctuary on Kadara. Let's see how that mission pans out. And then after that, I think we'll go back to the main story. But we did a bunch with the hackers already, so I don't want to leave that 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 quest line kind of hanging. I'd like to complete that one. So let's go do that quick. Let's see where it leads. Okay. Alright. We're going back to Kadara, which we've already been on. Here it is, the firefighters. Dr. Z says if you only do loyalty missions and rush through the story, you won't have any stuff to craft. Uh, dude, did you not watch like when I was playing this nonstop on release week? I did a ridiculous amount of side content. I did every side mission on the ice planet 
and I still don't have enough to craft. Detected. So it has nothing to do with me rushing through it. It has everything to do with the game not providing you with the resources you need to craft. That's a flaw of the game, not a flaw of the player. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now we're <sighs> Kadara. Kadara again. I gotta land again. Which means I gotta change my loadout. If they let me. Alright. Heading down to the planet. Sorry, just checking on stuff, making sure everything's working. Here it is. Good. My right, hair's sticking straight up. Here we are, back on Kadara. All right, so we need to go to the slums, it looks like. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Um, Supposedly, I got new weapons. All right now, I'm using the Black Widow 4, right? Or am I not? What am I using right now? Hold on. I am using the Widow 4. There's one called the Black Widow 4. Really? It's different. Yeah, look, it has a higher rate of fire, a bigger max clip size, it does slightly less damage, and it does have limited ammo, but it has better accuracy and better weight. You know what? I'm going to take the Black Widow. Shit. Let's put some mods on this thing, too. Yeah, increased sniper rifle damage. Okay. Slightly less rate of fire. Here you go. So now I'm going to do some pretty good damage. Okay. Alright, so that's my sniper rifle. Now I've got... What the hell happened? Oh, you know what? You could only put one of each mod type on there. I completely forgot. What just happened now? What, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Now it allowed me to do it? That's not right. It allowed me to do it even though you're not supposed to be able to. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay. Um, so I have right now, I got this N7 Piranha. Um, is it good? Or should, I have this other one. Yeah, this is, this is an ultra rare shotgun. I should probably still be using this then, right? If it's ultra rare, overall it's probably a lot better than this Disciple. The Disciple does more damage, higher accuracy, but high, and less weight. But it's less ammo, way less ammo. It's got a much smaller clip size, and it's got a, sh a much slower rate of fire. Yeah, you know what? The Piranha's better. The Piranha is better. What the fuck? This is the wrong gun. Black Widow. The game changed my gun. I didn't even do that. Less weight, and but less, st less stability. You know what? Just do this. Now it fucked it up again. Are you serious? It can only do one damage boost no matter what. 47% sniper rifle spare ammo increase. There. Do that. That's fine. Okay. Piranha mods. Are these the best ones? Yes, they are. Okay, we're keeping those. And the Omni Blade. What else do I have? This is Omni Blade common melee weapon. 275 melee damage. Whoa. The Krogan Hammer is 400 melee damage. Whoa! The Asari Sword for 560 melee damage. Holy shit. Equip that shit. Or run up and stab people with a sword. That's pretty cool. Alright. I guess we're good, right? Now, armor, I want to change over. If you remember, I just made the N7 armor. Here it is. Yeah, this is good. N7 armor. Let's see. Combat power damage, weapon damage, that doesn't help. Tech power damage, that doesn't help. This does nothing. And this is what I have on already, so... Okay. Oh, I could put a mod on this armor. I could do hover duration up 100%, but 30% less weapon damage. That's incredibly fucking stupid. 20 damage resistance, but never negative 50 on evade, lose health. 
What? When you try to dodge an attack, you lose health? Is that what they're saying? That's dumb. Oh my god, more shields but less health. These all suck. All these mods are terrible. I'll I don't even know what that does. I'm equipping it on. I don't even understand it, and I equipped it. Okay, um... <laughs> let's see. Combat power, no. Combat power, no. Alright, put that on. And all I have is that. Okay. So the N7 chest, but everything else is still that initiative armor. Alright. Here you go. Okay. I didn't, I didn't even change my who my team is. <laughs> I didn't even look. Oops. Oopsie. 